Intelligea Adir 2017.3 comes, as usual, with new inspections and updates to existing inspections. Now Java 9 is out, and IntelliJ Idea has been ready to help migrate your code for a few versions. For example, by suggesting places you can use the new convenience factory methods for collections. This inspection has been updated in IntelliJ Idea 2017.3 to also suggest places you can use the map.ofEntries method, which you can see makes creating immutable maps a bit nicer. Next, there's an inspection that identifies if you have code that uses a value if it's not null and provides a default if it is null. This inspection is turned on by default, but it doesn't automatically highlight the code. You can change this in the settings if you want this type of code to trigger a warning. Whether the warning is visible or not, this inspection offers a quick fix to use this much more succinct require non null else method that's now in Java 9. Java 9 has useful updates for deprecated code. For example, the code author can optionally flag which version the code was deprecated in. What's even more useful is the ability to flag deprecated code as for removal, indicating that this code is more risky than other types of deprecated code. If IntelliJ IDEA detects the code being used is flagged for removal, it has a red strike through instead of a black one, and the hover indicates the full deprecation status. Normal deprecation warnings can be suppressed as usual, but the use of code that's marked for removal is still highlighted as a warning. You need to suppress removal warnings if you really want to ignore these problems. You can configure how deprecation and removal warnings are displayed in the color scheme settings if you want these to be highlighted in a different way. The last improvement around deprecation warnings is when you have a method that's been deprecated and the Java doc gives a recommended replacement for that deprecated method. In this case, Alt and Enter will suggest using this alternative method instead of the deprecated one. Even with Java 9 out now, IntelliJ Ideas inspections for Java 8 still continue to evolve. There's a new inspection that can identify later operations on a stream that can be fused into a single stream call. If the addition of another operation can be further simplified, like this two array call, this will also be suggested. The inspection for simplifying stream API call chains has been updated to identify more cases that can be simplified using more idiomatic Java 8 code or better performing operations. For example, locating places to use stream.generate, identifying where any match might be a better fit, and using arrays.stream to simplify map operations. There's an inspection for automatically turning for loops into stream operations. By default, this doesn't highlight problems, but does suggest solutions if you press Alt and Enter on the loop. This inspection has been improved to also work on code that uses a string builder near a loop to use the streams API with a collectors.joining terminal operation. This inspection works even if there are more complex operations happening in the loop or values being appended to the string builder before or after the loop. This can lead to more readable code or maybe a stepping stone to further refactoring. IntelliJ IDEA 2017.3 is even smarter at identifying code that can use the streams API and working out which is the simplest set of stream operations to achieve the same result. For example, here we have a complex nested loop that searches for something that matches some criteria, or returns null if it's not found. This can be turned into a filter and find first operation with two separate streams, and using the optional or else method. IntelliJ IDEA can even identify places for a reduce operation. As usual, we should consider the updated code a suggestion, and we should only accept it if we think it improves readability or gives us some other value. IntelliJ IDEA has also got smarter about when a stream is empty and recognizing that certain operations on empty streams will always return the same results. For example, all match, find first, find any, min, max, reduce, sum, and count. There's new analysis for the possibility of null values as a result of a stream operation. IntelliJ IDEA offers to add a filter step to remove these null values. There's now more help for working with Java 8's optional. For example, the inspection for simplifying optional call chains has been improved to detect more cases that can be simplified, for example removing unnecessary wrapping, or identifying where a null check can be replaced with an or else or an if present call. The removal of unnecessary optional wrapping isn't just inside optional call chains, but also other cases where a value may be unnecessarily wrapped in an optional. 
the inspection for using optional in a more functional style has been updated to even suggest some of the new methods on optional that came in Java 9, which helps to simplify code even more. The improvements to inspections aren't limited to just Java 9 and Java 8 code. There's a new inspection that identifies if the same map key has been used more than once when the map is created, with the ability to navigate between these duplicates. The same applies to duplicate set elements. There's also a new inspection that warns if code returns mutable values like collections, calendar or date, and the same applies to mutating a parameter of these types. This inspection is turned off by default, so you'll need to enable it if you want to flag code like this. The quick fix wraps the return type in an unmodifiable collection to prevent callers from changing these values. Another new inspection points out places where the equals method may be used incorrectly. This includes using equals on a string builder, which will probably not achieve the equality check you want, and comparing a string with a char sequence. In this latter case, IntelliJ Ideas suggests using content equals instead. A new inspection is available to help simplify regular expressions by removing any redundant escape characters. And a new quick fix is shown for if statements with empty bodies, so now you can easily remove these redundant statements. We've looked at inspections and quick fixes, this next change is a new intention. If you have code that iterates over a fixed set of values, IntelliJ IDEA offers the option of unrolling this loop and replacing it with a set of statements that does the same thing. This may add readability or be particularly useful for test code. This last new inspection is one that can only be run when analyzing the code base. Here I'll demonstrate it by running just this inspection, which is exception package, on a subset of the code. This inspection identifies packages that only contain exception classes, which may be poor object-oriented design and may also be less desirable when using the Java 9 module system. As you can see, there are a lot of additions, changes and improvements to the inspections and quick fixes in IntelliJ IDEA 2017.3. Thanks for watching.